Hi there. In today's video, we are gonna be testing solar panels. Alors, why? Why well, could be that you want to buy some uh, second hand and you want to test them before you buy them, obviously. Uh, but it could be as well that uh, some of your panels have just flown away with the wind. Uh, like this one, uh, I'm just showing one of them. But in fact, I've got four that just flew away uh, in winter. Uh, I'm, I'm in Spain and uh, in winter the, the wind can be uh, very violent. And because the frame is in fine aluminium, uh, the wind is a bit too strong. It just rip everything apart and they just fly off. Um, so in this case, uh, I'm, I'm showing you the worst one. The, um, the glass has been shattered and at the back uh, a cable has been ripped as well so i'm just going to show you how we're going to test them and also if we can repair them as you can see there's a lot of damage and now we'll show you the the rear part and as you can see the cable has been completely ripped out so now we'll show you how we're going to test this what we need to test the solar panel well we'll need a, a multimeter uh, like the, like this one and we will need a flat screwdriver. Then uh, third, we will need a bit of sun. It's a bit cloudy, so I will wait so that the clouds move a bit and I'll show you how we test it. We have a label at the back of the solar panel, uh, like every solar panel. And we're gonna be interested with the open circuit. You see the 43.2 uh, volts and the maximum power in amps, 5.28. I'll show you what we do now. As I'm missing a cable on that uh, panel, uh, I will open that box. Obviously, if on your panel you've got the two cables, you can test it directly from the end of the cables, okay? Uh, but that will be the first step for me to open this and to test it. If it works from here, then I'll be able to place the cable back, okay? So, uh, on this panel, you see it's uh, open here, okay? So, there's a little arrow, I do pressure and I open. There we go. Huh? Here we've got the plus and here we've got the minus. So we're going to test this first. If it works, then we're going to connect again the cable. I've now placed the solar panel towards the sun. I've, of course, cleaned the panel. And now we're going to be testing it. How we're going to use the multimeter? As you can see, we've got three ports here. In the middle, connect the black one. And on this side, we, uh, we're we going to check the volts. And on the other side, we uh, check the amps so we're gonna start with the volts first okay and we are looking for uh, 43.2 so volts are here amps are here so uh, there's 220 200 600 okay so 40 40 something it's below than 200 so we're gonna select 200 and now we're just gonna connect the negative to the negative okay and the positive, sorry about the video, and the positive to the positive, and let's see what we got. 41.7, okay, so that's pretty close uh, from 43.2, okay, so the voltage is quite good. Now let's uh, test the amps, so we switch this over, okay, same thing, uh, it's amps are here, so it's uh, we're looking for 5.28, so it's going to be below than 20, so we select 20, and same thing, we connect the minus and the plus. What we've got here, we've got 1.31, okay, so uh, as you can see, the, the panel has been damaged, okay. So the good thing is that it's still charged, you can still use it, but obviously it won't charge as much as you would like it to be, okay. So what you can do now is uh, reconnect the cable, uh, the cable that I've got here that have been uh, ripped. Uh, so very easy, uh, just disconnect the, uh, the screw here and uh, clip this and, and reconnect it, okay? Uh, then after close the tap, uh, the, the, the cap and, and that's it, you're done, okay? So now you know how to test the, uh, the panels, okay? Once obviously it's all connected, the cables are connected, then just in case, uh, test it again via the, the ends, just to make sure everything is fine, okay? Well, okay, that's it for today. I hope that you have liked the video and we'll see each other in the next one. Ciao.